In the previous video, we've learned about the definition of gross domestic product. Now we are going to talk about GDP calculation. There are three methods to obtain the value of GDP. The expenditure approach, the value added approach, and the income approach. We will only focus on the expenditure approach and the value added approach as the income approach is not part of the DSC syllabus. First, we'll introduce how the expenditure approach is in calculating the GDP of an economy. GDP is defined as the total value of final products in a market that is produced by all resident producing units in an economy over a period of time. In other words, we can sum up the total expenditure spent by consumers on such final products and services in a country to obtain the value of GDP. This is what we call the expenditure approach. Generally, there are four types of expenditure. Private consumption expenditure, C. Gross investment expenditure, I. Government consumption expenditure, G. And net exports, NX. Private consumption expenditure refers to household expenditure on final products and services. The cost of you dining in a restaurant, shopping with friends, or joining a tutorial class all count towards a household's expenditure on final products or services, which would be included in the private consumption expenditure component of GDP. Gross investment expenditure refers to a firm's expenditure on final products and services. For example, if a newly opened restaurant spends money on kitchen utensils, tables, chairs, and interior decorations to prepare the venue for business, the cost of all these items will be included in the gross investment expenditure component of GDP. On the other hand, gross investment expenditure can be broken down into two smaller parts, gross domestic fixed capital formation and changes in inventory. Gross domestic fixed capital formation refers to the resources that firms invest on durable capital goods in order to increase the productivity of the firms. Changes in inventory refers to the changes in firms' inventories. Let's say a soft drink factory started its business in 2017 by producing 10,000 cans of soft drinks which could be sold at $5 per can. Among all, 8,000 cans were sold. The remaining 2,000 cans should be considered as final products made in 2017, so they'd be included in the changes in inventories component under the category of gross investment expenditure, which is a part of the 2017 GDP. Therefore, the soft drink factory contributed $40,000, 5 times 8,000, in the consumption component and $10,000, $5 times 10,000 minus 8,000 in the investment component of the 2017 GDP. The total value of $50,000 is the total value of the 10,000 cans of soft drinks the factory produced in 2017. We have mentioned that investment expenditure could be further divided into gross domestic fixed capital formation and changes in inventory. Meanwhile, gross domestic fixed capital formation equals to net domestic fixed capital formation plus depreciation. Therefore, we should be careful of these components while calculating GDP. Gross investment expenditure equals gross domestic capital formation plus changes in inventories. Gross investment expenditure equals net domestic capital formation plus depreciation plus change in inventory. Aside from households and firms, governments would also purchase various goods and services to provide different services to citizens like housing, subsidized education, and public security. These final products and services purchased by governments, or government expenditure, also count towards GDP. However, we should pay attention to certain exceptions. Transfer payments like allowances provided to low-income households or the elderly do not involve any production of final products and services. As a result, these government expenses are not included in the calculation of GDP. An open economy means an economy is where goods produced by a resident producing unit are sold outside of the local area or even sent to other countries to be sold there. An open economy is an economy in which there are economic activities between the domestic economy and the outside economy. Or simply, the goods produced by a resident producing unit are sold outside of the local economy or even sent to other countries to be sold there and there may be some goods produced by an outside economy which are purchased. These final products transported out and sold in foreign countries are called exports. Exports involve local goods and services. In an open economy, 
local households and other entities can purchase goods and services produced by foreign firms which are transported in from other countries. These products, or imports, are not produced locally. However, they still contribute to the local GDP when households, firms, the government and foreign tourists consume these imports within this country. Therefore, we have to take away the value of all imports when we calculate the local GDP. Total exports minus imports is known as net exports. So far, we've talked about how GDP can be calculated using the expenditure approach. As long as we know the expenditures on private consumption, investment, government consumption and net export, we can find out the gross domestic product of an economy at market price. In addition, if we want to know the gross domestic product by factor cost of an economy, we should subtract any indirect taxes from the GDP at market price, then add any subsidies to find out the GDP by factor cost. GDP at factor cost equals GDP at market price minus indirect taxes plus subsidies. In the next video, we'll introduce another GDP calculation method, the value-added approach.